Hey everyone, it's Tom June, and this is a breaking news story here, so forgive the crude setup and the lack of presentation that I normally have on the channel, but on Monday the 19th of August, Rocket Factory Augsburg were conducting a hot fire test at Saxevoord Spaceport, which has unfortunately resulted in the loss of the vehicle at the moment. Uh, a statement from RFA was only put out at the time of recording a few hours ago um, that basically says that the test resulted in the loss of the stage. Thankfully, nobody at the spaceport was injured. Obviously, when they've been conducting these hot fire tests, all personnel are evacuated from the exclusion zone during these tests. But as you can see from footage here, uh, which has been uh, taken from the BBC site, we will look for more footage as the days progress ahead this week. Um, but you can see that uh, a fire seems to have uh, erupted from one of the engines, possibly more, but certainly there is some flamey stuff going sideways when it should be going down. In any case, it does look like uh, potentially an issue with one of the engines on the first stage of the RFA-1. What's gone wrong, we don't know. Um, but remember, during the first hot fire test, they were supposed to be testing five of the Helix engines. But there was a problem with one of them, and that resulted in a 20 second total time hot fire test of four engines only. Uh, as reported by the Angry Astronauts earlier on uh, this summer, RFA then came back after the the month off uh, and attempted another hot fire test, which was scrubbed. It was then successfully completed the following day after that, but it seems at least one of those engines has had an issue and that has now caused the loss of the vehicle. This is... Yeah, it's absolutely uh, sad. Um, it's not a great time, but we have to remember that uh, these tests are designed, uh, t you know, as rigorously as possible to put the vehicle through its paces. Uh, and this was the very first time that the RFA-1 had been under such conditions. How much of a setback this is going to be for RFA at this stage, we don't know. What we do know is all of the rocket pieces are at Saxevoord. So that includes the second stage as well as the upper stage pieces, including the Redshift OTV, Orbital Transfer Vehicle, and the fairings. Potentially the payloads as well for their first flight. Interestingly enough, this was something I debated on X just uh, this past week, there was a statement come out from an investor in RFA that uh, appeared in the media that seemed to indicate that RFA were only a few weeks away from their first flight. Something I doubted based on information that I was privy to that suggested that would be closer to the end of September, beginning of October. But now... That's all up in the air. We don't know when they're going to be able to launch. We don't know if they have more than one first stage ready to go. I don't think so at this moment in time. This will likely uh, set them back while an investigation takes place. And this will be a first for the Civil Aviation Authority, who will now undoubtedly, much like the FAA in America, become involved and investigate the circumstances alongside Rocket Factory Augsburg and Saxevoord Spaceport themselves, both of whom have been very, very transparent on social media tonight uh, and posting up about this before more footage and more information becomes available to make us aware. Like I said, thankfully, there was, uh, there was no harm that came to the personnel on the site. Both the RFA team and the Saxevoord team are safe. But the first stage of the RFA-1 has been lost. Um, yeah, this footage here that you've seen and the, the still you know, image that we have is the only footage we have at this moment in time. I will bring you more information as it comes this week. But uh, yeah, a little bit of going back to the drawing board. 
what we do have to remember is is not to panic and not to get too all up in arms about this. Undoubtedly, the mainstream media uh, will levy this one way or the other, potentially seeing this as a catastrophic failure uh, and they're never going to launch, which is simply not true. There's a reason that we test. And for anybody that's a fan of SpaceX out there, you will know that iterative testing is part of the game. RFA will be back. I have every confidence in the team here. I'm not just saying this as some kind of fanboy. This as, is as a spaceflight enthusiast. It's all part of the game. It could simply be that there was an issue uh, in terms of the, yeah, the, the makeup, you know, of the the rocket, the the fuel lines anything we're just speculating here and to be honest we could go on wild tangents as to what was wrong with it we simply don't know at this point in time but it does look like there was an issue with one of the engines there again we will have more information throughout the week as and when it comes so just a, a quick little update for you all here um tonight as this is breaking news do stay tuned to the channel um and follow along on X as this story continues to develop and we get more information here. But uh, what we do know is that uh, RFA uh, will immediately uh, investigate this issue and they will be back as soon as they possibly can. Remember the RFA-1, it's a three-stage uh, orbital class rocket um, that's capable of putting 1300 kilograms into low Earth orbit. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's no small fry, and this is really the, the first uh, launch of its kind from any kind of UK soil. So there are always going to be things that don't go so smoothly, and to put this mildly, this is not going so smooth. But this is the name of the game in spaceflight. Most unexpected, as everything had been going really, really well as far as RFA and the one at Saxevoort had has been concerned so yeah uh, we'll bring you more throughout the week um, a quick little update here we are glad that everybody is safe they will be working back towards the launch pad and we will see them return again very very soon so remember to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with this story and all the other UK space news that's coming out I've been Tom June and I'll see you next time.